Okay, this is a tutorial on how to migrate a Joomla site from your local computer running on your home computer to a remote server. So let's say, um, for instance, in this case, I'm running a local um, copy of a WAMP server, uh, Windows, Apache, MySQL, and PHP, right? And if I click on uh, open a browser and type in localhost uh, forward slash test2, I'll just hit refresh here. You'll see that this is a test website that I've created locally. It's a Joomla website and um, and I've just got it running locally and let's pretend that I have the website finished and I want to migrate it to my live site on a remote web server or shared web host that I may have. So how would I go about doing that? Um, well first of all what we do, I'll show you the process Basically, on this WAMP server, I'll go to my www directory, okay, and I'll go to the uh, test website, test2, and what I need to do is I need to um, compress all of the files in here. So what I can do is, I've already done it, and it's right here, this folder, right? this zipped file is my compressed folder, but just to show you how you would do it, um, let me delete this and show you how to do it. Basically I want to compress all of these files in here so I'll just select the bottom one, scroll up to the top, hold down my shift key, select the top one and then right click let's say on this top folder I've got all of them selected and hit send to compress zip folder or however else you want to zip up these files but you need to zip up all those files and I did that and then I uploaded it to my um, I uploaded it to my remote web host so at my remote web host, this is my web hosting account. I've got this one called dan.danscourses.net and I open up my file manager, roll down here, scroll down, click on my file manager and I have um, created a directory in the public underscore HTML directory. I've created a new directory called test2 and in this directory if I double click on it you'll see there is my zipped file that has my entire Joomla site inside of it. So I'm going to select it and I'll just click extract. All right. And it says, do you want to extract it there? And I say, yes, extract files. And so that's extracting right onto my remote web host. I'll hit close and you'll see now that the directory is full of essentially all the files that made up that test two website. Okay. I'll go up one level now. And so that's set. It's in a directory called test2, which is in my www or public HTML directory. All right, so now what I need to do is I need to go back to um, my local host here, okay? And I need to open up PHP my admin and export my database for this Joomla website. So I open up PHP my admin, I click on my test2 database which is the correct database and I need to click export and I'm going to export my database and I'll just accept the defaults scroll down here to the bottom and I've done this a few times trying to get this video done and I'll call this test 2 db4 and I'm going to gzip it okay because I'm going to be uploading it to a Linux remote web server so I'm going to gzip it as opposed to zip it and hit go and that's exporting my database and saving it as a file so I'll save that and it's getting saved to my downloads folder alright alright super so now I can close that window I've, ex I've uh, exported my local database and now I need to um, I need to create a database on my remote web server and then import that data into the database that I'm going to create on my remote web server. So I go to cPanel, I'm going to go down to the database section, click on MySQL databases, I will create a database called test2. Okay, notice I've put in the name here test2, but the full name of the database will be the prefix for my username, in this case dan dan underscore test2. Create database, it's done, click go back, now I'm going to go down here and I'm actually going to create a user. So I'll make a user also called, let's say in this case, test2, just for an example. And uh, 
test two here, new user test two. All right, I'll do that again and put in a password. Or right, here's my password. My okay. Put in a weak password because just for an example, and hit create user. The user is created. Click go back. And I'm going to scroll down now, and I need to add that user to the database. So all the way at the bottom here, it says add user to database. I will choose the correct user. In this case, test2, dan, dan, underscore test2. Notice the prefix. And then the database, also test2 here, dan, dan, underscore test2, and click add. I will give it all permissions. Click make changes. And so now I have a, um, a database and a user ready to go. So now what I'm going to do is go back to my home panel. And this time I'm going to go down to databases, but this time I'm going to go to PHP my admin. And it's going to redirect here to PHP my admin. This is on my remote host, not on my local host. And I'll click on the test2 database. And I'll say I'm going to import. And I'll import the database file that I already exported locally. So I'll browse for it. And it's in my downloads folder. So I'll just navigate to my downloads folder and find the database. There it is, the fourth version. And I will accept the defaults and click Go. And it should populate my database and create all my tables and everything that I had locally. And it did, so that's great. So now I can just close that window out. And now I can go and see if this works. So I'll open up a new browser window and I'll say localhost forward slash, uh, not localhost, I gotta go to my live site, dan.danscourses.net and the test2 is the directory. There it is. And you see I get an error. Now I've got this error because I haven't um, changed the username and the database name from my local installation to my remote installation. The difference is my remote installation has this prefix dan dan underscore in front of it and my local installation had probably the username root and no password. So what I need to do is I need to go to my file manager and I need to go into that directory where my site is and I need to edit my configuration.php file. So I'll right click and select code edit. And this is my configuration.php file on my remote host and I will scroll, let's see down here and I'll change the user from root to dan, dan, underscore, test2. And the database is also going to be dan, dan, underscore, test2. And then the uh, password, which is down here at the bottom, goes from nothing, which is um, two apostrophes, to my password, which in this case is my pass two. And I'll hit save changes and close the window and close this window and then retest my site and see if it works. I hit refresh and voila the site works. Amazing. All I had to do was edit my configuration.php file to match the new name of my new database with the prefix and my new name for my user with the prefix and also my new password and I'm all done.